Human Computer, Mary Jackson, Engineer, written by Andy Din. Even as a young girl, Mary Jackson loved math and science. She loved learning how things work, and she loved helping people. Mary wanted to be an engineer and to solve problems with math and science. But Mary grew up in a time when black people and white people were kept apart by something called segregation. Black children weren't always taught the same subjects as white children. There were very few black engineers and even fewer female engineers. Mary still loved learning math and science. She wanted to know how everything worked. Mary beat the odds and went to college. She became a math teacher and shared her love of numbers with her black students. Mary shared her learning with other little girls too. She was a Girl Scout leader. She loved to build wind tunnels and test model airplanes with her scouts. A few years later, after Mary had a baby, she went to work as a clerk. She answered the phone and wrote messages. She was good at her job, but she, she missed learning how different things work. So Mary got a job at the Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory as a human computer. Engineers at Langley were working to improve airplanes. They needed human computers who were very good at math to help them. Mary was happy to work with numbers again. Mary loved her job, but there was a big problem. Langley was segregated. Mary grew more and more angry. She was tired of being treated differently. There were many people who thought segregation was wrong. An engineer named Kazimir Kazanecki asked Mary to come work with him. Kaz thought everyone should all work together. And Mary agreed. She went to work as a computer for engineers who were studying things that traveled at supersonic speed or faster than the speed of sound. Mary wanted to be an engineer more than ever. All she needed to do was take classes at a local school. But there was one problem. The school was segregated. Black people weren't allowed to go to school there. Mary had to ask the city to give her special permission to take classes at the white school. Finally, the city said yes. Mary studied hard and became NASA's first African-American female engineer. Mary worked as an engineer for many years. She helped design the spacecraft that first carried men to the moon. Mary had achieved her dream. Now she wanted to help others achieve their dreams. After all, no one had expected Mary to become the first African-American female engineer at NASA. And she knew she wouldn't be the last. The end.